Decaying conditions at a near century old police and fire station. The city leaders in Trenton very concerned and right now they are asking residents for help. The city wants neighbors to support a $43.5 million bond proposal. It would help build a new police and fire station and upgrade other city buildings. Devon Fernandez spent the day downriver looking into this issue. Devon. Yeah, you know, this bond proposal is such a serious issue. The city's pushing out information aggressively. Get this. Anytime you log into the city of Trenton's website, you'll see this screen pop up. It gives you detailed information and updates on that bond proposal that'll be on the August 6th ballot. Downriver in the city of Trenton, there's a bond proposal that has some neighbors' attention. Virginia Long and Sandy Nelson are among those buzzing about the city, urging residents to consider supporting a $43.5 million bond. That money would go toward fire station, police station, and municipal building improvements. Well, how bad is it? The current public safety building is 97 years old, and according to the city, it's in serious need of updates and repairs. The city of Trenton produced this four-minute behind-the-scenes video showing the buildings in various stages of Okay. It shows the current police headquarters has crumbling walls and cracked floors, exposed wires and missing ceiling tiles, restrooms in need of updates, leaking doors in the emergency operations center, and an operable elevator, outdated jail facility, unsecured evidence rooms. Over at the fire station, there's a list of issues here too, like inadequate storage space, plumbing problems, and crumbling stairs. That video also shows the Westfield Activity Center has issues. I already sent my thing in and I voted it down. While Mrs. Long admits she has some concerns about the bond proposal, there are many residents who support the push for building improvements. According to the city of Trenton, it would take 30 years to pay off the debt. The average residence taxes would increase by $16 per month based on a taxable value of $75,000. $15 million would be dedicated for the fire station. $14 million would go toward the police station. The city says due to the age of the current public safety building, it's more cost effective to build new facilities. The rest of that money would go toward upgrades at other municipal buildings. Would it be better to build or would it be better to tear down and start anew? Bottom line. That's it, bottom line. And according to the city, that police and fire station was built when the population of Trenton was just 4,000 residents. Now, 97 years later, the population sits at 18,000. And many folks believe it's time for some improvements. Yeah, yeah, that is a pretty old building. So has the city determined what they're going to do with it? Well, it's still a work in progress. So far, the city's telling residents it hasn't yet determined what would happen to the building. It could be redeveloped, yeah. sold, or even demolished. Now, I want you to know I did contact the city's mayor about this story. He's unavailable until Friday, but we do want to discuss, and he's agreed to discuss this in greater detail. Okay, yeah, Good keep deal. us posted. Yeah. Thanks.